Hello my love, it's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about my 12 week year and we're gonna do a little update. We are seven weeks in the start of the seventh week and I'm just gonna update you guys on how it's going. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to hit that subscribe button because you're here. It's free, you might as well hit it, help a girl out. And also like the video if you enjoy. If you don't know, I do videos on healthy intentional living and that is just living your healthy life with intention. I do videos about fitness, productivity, my minimalist lifestyle, as well as my mom life. So once again, be a part of that fam, hit that subscribe button, join us. All right, so in today's video, once again, I'm gonna talk about my 12 week year. If you don't know what the 12 week year is, I will link the first video I did up in the cards. I don't know where the cards are, we'll figure it out. You can check out my first video on it. If you don't know what the 12 week year is, just a little synopsis. Basically you take your whole year and you condense it down into 12 weeks. So every week is a month of your year. And you just kind of, jumpstart or kickstart your productivity so you can reach your goals within 12 weeks. One of the main things about the 12 week year is you pick a minimum amount of goals. So maybe two to three goals max for the 12 week year. You also set the parameters for your goals. So you have a something that you're striving for. Your goal is very laid out. Um, it's very specific as well. And then you also lay out your daily tasks that you have for your week and then your weekly tasks as well that you have for your whole 12 week year. This is my very first 12 week year in um, that I'm doing from the month of August 2021 to the month of November 2021. Uh, right now it is October and I am filming this basically update halfway through of my 12 week year. I'm a little more than halfway halfway through but um, yeah I've done kind of like little sprinkles of updates here and there because I've had two monthly resets and I've talked about it and all that kind of stuff so um yeah this is just kind of like an official update where I'm just talking about the 12 week year so if you haven't read the book the 12 week year all right so I have the 12 week year on audible I do not have the physical book but it is by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lennington Lennington anyway I'll put the book cover up on the screen um but if you haven't checked it out and you are interested in boosting your product productivity, I definitely recommend you check out the book. It really breaks down the reason why you're doing this, how to be successful, the things that you need to do each week and each day, um, or like the, the habits you need to put in place each week and each day to be successful and all that. Just to jump into the update. So I started my, let me just go to the calendar and just be super specific. I started my 12 week year in August, August 19th to be exact, which is actually a Friday. I'm actually in week eight of my 12 week year. So I have week eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have five weeks left. I'm in week eight of my 12 week year. And we'll, we'll, real quick, I'll just review what my three goals are. Um, I actually have everything set up in Notion. I do not have a Notion template. I do not have anything like that, any video on Notion. Um, I just have like videos of my using Notion on my channel just because I am really new to Notion, like really, really new. Basically, one of my goals is um, for my 12 week year is to get more familiar with Notion and to use it for my everyday life. I, that's why I don't have any like tutorials or templates or anything like that because I'm really new to it. And I just, I don't feel comfortable like sharing, oh, this here is my template and I've never used a template fully. Here's what I use and I'm, you know, and I'm just not really in it. So, but I do have my situation situated out in Notion. <laughs> um, yeah, so my 12 week goals were one, learn how to use Notion for my everyday life. So using it every, um, using it every day and you know, finding a way for it to be productive for me. Number two was reach a thousand subscribers here on YouTube and um, get my 4,000 watch hours, which is basically to reach monetization on YouTube. And then my third is to lose my last 10 pounds to reach my overall weight loss goal. So those are my three goals. And then we're just going to talk about how we're doing meeting those goals. Okay. So how is it going? It's going okay. <laughs> it's going okay. I realized kind of like later in my, so probably like the fourth or fifth week, I realized that I didn't plan out my daily tasks 
well enough or I really didn't I really didn't do that step somehow I skipped it you know it's my first time we're just gonna leave it up to the fact that it was my first time doing this um I kind of skipped to that step so because I skipped that step my first four or five weeks were kind of wonky I was doing I was meeting my weekly task goals but I wasn't I didn't have daily tasks so because of that I wasn't really working on my goals to the my full potential if that makes any sense but that's really the basis of the the whole process of the 12 week year is you need to work on your goal every single day in some way in some capacity for any length of time you need to work on your goal every single day and that's how you meet the goal the last three weeks have been going pretty good where I've every day I've had at least one task that has to do with getting better at notion one task that has to do with my youtube channel and get reaching monetization and one task that has to do with losing my 10 pounds now the weight loss one is pretty simple to have a task for that every day because pretty much I need to eat healthy and I need to exercise regularly and that will keep me going um however as far as my weight I like fluctuated losing one pound and gaining one pound I actually haven't moved down from where I started and it's been eight weeks which really sucks and I really that was kind of why this is a goal is because I'm, I'm at a plateau so um reverse side of that we're going to be changing some things for these last four weeks or five weeks um including this week. So we're changing something for these last five weeks to really get back to that. What is working? So Notion is definitely working for me. Um, it really gets me excited and like pumped up about being in the app, being productive, really writing things down, getting stuff out of my head and in a place where I can continue to go back to, to reference it and look at it and all that. So in that sense, it's working really good. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. As far as like with my YouTube channel, it's working okay. Now I realized probably last week that I made my goal just a little too big, but I'm happy that I made that goal because monetization is definitely a goal to meet. Um, it's definitely something to strive for and it's definitely something that's, it is realistic, I feel like, for people to hit it in 12 weeks. It's just because my channel is brand new is why it may not be possible. And that is because something else that I found out kind of in my research of starting a new YouTube channel and getting into monetization is um, most channels don't really start to see exponential growth in their channel until they reached the first 52 videos I know it's like I said I know it's super specific but that kind of gives me like a tangible way of meeting the goal if that makes sense so I did not change my goal it still is to reach monetization in 12 weeks I realized that it might not happen however I definitely can make a dent in the situation and that's what I'm gonna keep my focus on um so actually within these last five weeks or four weeks it's like four and a half but in these last five weeks basically I need to post three videos a week to hit that 52 so I'm kind of adding that to my goal in a sense um I already had the parameter of posting two to three videos um basically meaning my minimum is two my maximum is three so as long as I hit that minimum I'm good only a couple weeks have I hit that three and I'm okay with that as long as I hit those two but now in these last five weeks three videos that's it I have to post three videos and that way I can make the 52 videos uh, my first 52 videos and I'll be I'll feel really good about that I also feel really good about my subscriber count even though it is kind of low I mean it's only 50 right now but I've been gaining at least a subscriber a day so that makes me feel really good um the fact that every single day I get at least one more subscriber that means my channel still is growing and my views are going up my watch hours are going up so I definitely feel good about that what is not working for me <laughs> so what's not working for me is kind of just basically off based off of what I'm not doing I'm just not being consistent enough with my nutrition so to fix that of course I'm doing something to get myself together so I'm, I am doing a little three week uh we'll call it a challenge for lack of a better term but I'm doing a fast within these, these next three weeks um that will help me keep my nutrition super tight um I'll do another video talking about this fast but if you know anything about um daniel fast or spiritual fast that's basically what i'm doing i'm doing a spiritual fast so um it is going to affect my physical as well as my mental as well as well as my spiritual only have like i said five weeks left so five weeks left to lose 10 pounds that means i have to lose 
two pounds a week um at least so i'm not sure if that's gonna happen but if i can at least meet this challenge stay consistent i will definitely be definitely be happy with that and i know that i'll be moving in the right direction and i'm gonna get out this plateau these next three weeks i'm gonna get out this plateau clean eating is all it's that's it it's gonna happen so um like i said i'll do another video about that kind of explaining that a little bit more but for now we're talking about the 12 week year anything else that's not working um no like i said my notion is really working what i'm doing for my youtube is is working um i just have to stay consistent with it and find ways to be more consistent like i said notion has really helped me to want to be more consistent it's not just busy work it's actually organizing my mind and my life and every thing about it so I can be together so I can be together like that this is a goal <laughs> to be together <laughs> so what I'm going to change for these last five weeks talked about my nutrition I am changing that for definitely for the next three weeks and for the least um but I am changing that um, all clean eating no alcohol no sugar no dairy um focusing on that for sure um no and no um no fast food either so so that is one big change for these next five weeks um something else i am changing with my notion um i need to have i need to stick to my specific times really of actually diving into notion because some stuff i know how to do and i've kind of gotten the hang of it and other stuff i have to keep going back and watching you watching youtube videos and figuring it out so i need to just make sure i'm spending some time in the app and on the uh, on the site so i know what i'm doing um, and like with my youtube like i said I, i'm definitely going to hit those three videos a week um the days of the week i'm not sure of just yet i'm trying to figure out which days are best for me and unfortunately not unfortunately but my channel is still new so because of that it can't track it for me i know like in analytics it can tell you but it hasn't gotten to the point where it can track it because my channel is so new so i'm just trying to plug those in the days of my videos in wherever i can figure it out that that is more convenient for my life like right now i'm going off of my convenience not what is doing best on my channel because once again it's just too new to track so uh that's pretty much it for this update my next update will be the end of my 12 week year uh, i'm gonna make sure i do it within my 12 week to 13 week gap um and then within that time i'm gonna decide if i'm going to do my 12 weeks again before the end of the year because my 12 week year ends in november which is uh it's like a november 11th so that kind of, it's kind of a weird time. I do work retail because, uh, not because, I do work retail. So the holiday time is crazy. However, I wanna stay on track. I don't wanna lose this momentum that I feel like I have. So I think I want to stick with it. I just need to figure out what the best dates are. And then also I kind of have like a little project in mind of what I wanna do for my next 12 weeks. So because of that, I might, I might do it again before or start another 12 weeks before the new year, which is kind of, I feel like, um, uh, what's the word? Risque is the word that comes to mind, but that's not the word I'm looking for. But, um, you know, just because it's so close to the new year and it's just like, oh, you might as well wait to the new year. Nah, boo, we not waiting. We out here starting our new year early. Okay. <laughs> that's the great thing about the 12 week year. Like it puts one, it puts your year in a small amount of time. Um, it's not quarterly i know people are like oh it's just quarterly planning it it's different than quarterly planning okay where it, it's different it quarterly planning it takes your year goal and breaks it down to the quarter no that's not what we're doing we're taking our year and we're putting it in 12 weeks that's what we're doing and we're taking the goal and we're putting it in 12 weeks and we're accomplishing it in those 12 weeks that's what's happening okay it's completely different <laughs> read the book if you haven't read the book if you're interested in it like i said i'll link it down below the name and the title and the in the authors and all that but um it's really good for productivity getting your life together at least just getting your mind together and like where you should be going and how you can be thinking to be more to be more productive and all that so um yeah that's it my next video will be when i end my 12 week year and then we'll talk about the results how i did um how what i'm going to do moving forward and if i'm going to do another 12 week year before the end of 2022 so i'm super excited about it if you can't tell i'm feeling good i'm feeling motivated it also could be the pre-workout that i took this morning who knows <laughs> 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting my face down below and also check out other videos from me linked on the screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.